What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today I've got some more EU4. We are playing as Brabant here. Let's keep it going. Last episode we were colonizing, accordingly, over in North Carolina. Uh, so let's actually tech up here for Diplo. I'm going to tech up for admin here as well. Okay, nice. So now we can actually invest some points uh, from an admin perspective into development, which will be good. We've got an uprising here that's getting ready to pop out for Protestantism. And I could take um, the Counter-Reformation here, but I'm not going to do so because we've still got the religious zeal going on in a lot of these different provinces, which uh, would definitely not even change things for us because the religious zeal there at sitting at the 100% mark... So where are they going to pop? Let's see. Antwerp, Lindbergh, Bourbon. So I'm just sitting in Bourbon right now. I can actually add another infantry unit into the stack here. So let's do that. Military access from the Commonwealth? Sure. All right, let's see. Local unrest, minus two. Institution spread. This hurts ooh, for like 15 years or so. But the local unrest here... Okay, we're going to have to take this. So we'll take that. See what we can do. I can actually put in for another regimental camp here. So let's get that going. We're still making uh, four bucks a tick. Even with that colonist working for us now. Hmm. And we're about to go up to tech 13 here for military. So I want to save up and make sure I get that. You can see Austria already at 13. Over here... France still sitting at the 12 mark right now. Commonwealth, 62,000 Commonwealth troops making their way over. Yeah, continuing to fight over there. I also did notice Gilles Ray here. We could actually um, take our Cassus Belly and get this done. Really quickly, call in France. Diplomatic reputation. They owe me the favors. <laughs> right now, Pomerania would not join in, so that's good. So we'd really just have to deal with Shelray, East Frisia here, who has 8,000 troops, and then Brittany on this side of things, which the French could pretty much take care of. So let's go to war here. And go take that province away. I have a one-star general. We've got an eight stack over here with a two-star general. Truce with Savoy is done. So let's try to siege that down. And let's get the military tech 13 there. We can also update our artillery. We're going to go large cast. Mm, morale of armies, nice. I'm going to take the morale. There goes the revolt popping out as well. Hmm. <clears throat> Savoy has joined in with us here. Somehow. Do I still even have an alliance with them? I don't think so, because we just had the truce end. I've got Portugal, Hess, and France. Now, is France controlling Savoy? Yes, they are. Okay, cool. We'll give uh, access there to Hess. This 31 stack is a little scary. It'll have to just sort of sit there for now. We can finally call in Hess here. Let's call them in. So I'll give me 7,000 more men. Got to get the siege done, and then we're going to come down here and fight. Okay, there's the siege done there. Let's come down here and try to break up this siege. Should have a regimental camp finishing up here soon. I don't know if we'll win this or not. Oh, we actually are winning it. Due to that morale. Nice. Okay. So we've got to refill the 
There goes another one popping out there. We've got to refill the rest of these uh, casualties that we've taken. Coming in here. Good. That extra morale helping me out yet again. Let's go siege down the other enemy here. Try to catch that eight stack if we can. Manpower, 45k limit. Shoot, there goes a loan popping out for us. There is another 11 stack there. Popping out. Burgundy. Okay. Let's see if we can actually just peace out on this really quickly. Aggressive expansion, 41. Let's get some ducats out of this as well to repay our loan. Can I transfer the trade power? No. Okay. Send. No war reparations either. That's fine. We get the province, though. Okay, let's bring you down here. Start the coring process. Excellent. Okay, and then Friesland we could actually convert here pretty quickly. Which would be good. Clergy demanding land. So let's give them some land. Maybe Friesland. There we go. That makes them a little happier. Holy crap, another 16 stack popping out on us there. Holy crap, okay. I've got 27,000 men. Let's head in there. Oh, someone helping me there. 73k. Coming in. Bashing them out. Leaders harder to find. Dang it. Losing tradition and professionalism there. Let's repay the loan. Go. Okay, that's good. Nice. Okay, so the forts are still up. Let's take those off. There. We're also at uh, war there in the New World with our first colony here. Portugal has cleared that out for us, though. How are we doing with the colonism here? We're well, sitting right at 20%. Or, uh, yeah, 46% rather. Okay, so that war, other war is over. Nice. Lose 50 Diplo or 10 Prestige. I'll take the Diplo hit. Okay, how are we looking again here from Rebellions? Colonian Separatists, 14 stack. They're going to pop out in... Where? I think it was Colon? Gain Unrest? No. New Edict. Yeah, they're going to pop out here, so let's head on over. Okay, still losing cash, but it's at least minimized here. Coring almost done in Friesland. Okay, we're back to positive cash flow as well. Very good. Let's go ahead and convert. Just to try to get that uh, religious unity up a bit. Sitting right at the 12% mark right now. Which is pretty awful. That will get, at least give us 9% back though. As the rest of these are sort of sitting at Protestant still. We want to stay Catholic to retain um, the French benefits there of the Alliance. Okay, we're back to our 28,000 men here on the mainland. Um, we've actually got two space to bump this up by two. So one, two... We've got, like, no army professionalism going. 
Maximum of 100. Okay, here's the professionalism, rather. 33%. Okay, so that uh, did it for us as far as claims go. We've got... Uh, importing naval supplies. 60 diplo power. I'll take the mercantilism. Okay, game's starting to lag on me here a bit. So we're going to move it down to speed 3. Yeah, that helps out frame rate quite a bit. Just lots going on here. Still got our navy here of 7 lights out. Stab cost gone down. Very good. We can actually embrace if we save up some additional monies here. Huh. Because the printing press did fire off in Limburg, right in our territory. Sweet. Conversion going pretty well. Coming in at uh, almost 60% here. We're at 75% here for the colonists. So I'm not going to drill quite yet since uh, this new rebellion's about to pop. Burgundy. Allied with Burgundy. I bet Utrecht is in a trade league. Plus Austria would protect them. What about East Frisia here? Holstein, England. Yikes. They are allied with England. We've got Oldenburg here. Denmark, Bavaria, Nuremberg, Utrecht. Well, I tell you what, let's get, uh... Hmm. Okay, these provinces here, still named of interest to me. Onzebrook, that's what I wanted to do. All of these here. Name you as provinces of interest. Good stuff. But we do need claims going, so... Whoa. Ten years of inefficient trade. I'm going to have to take that. Denmark is huge now. Absolutely huge. Twenty prestige. Uh, I'm gonna have to take the prestige hit there. I don't want my heir to suffer. The air is pretty decent. Plus a free thinker. For diplo ideas, we're sort of running short because uh, we're running at a six there. We're running behind on tech there as well. Okay, finally converted there to Catholicism. And you can see from a tech standpoint, we're looking great. Okay, I can finally embrace. Let's do that. Boom. So that'll give me a little bit of a leg up from a penalty standpoint. Ooh, price of paper going up. Do base production. I want the paper to be produced there, so cool. So if I update here, yeah, that's a plus niner there. Invest in a little bit of development there to get that paper out and going. Okay, let's also take another look at plugging in some development for some more manpower here. 576. Let's see, what's the best buy for us? 72 there.
80 there, 71 here. Let's give one there. Although that was in the New World, that's okay. Uh, here and here, especially in Loon. There we go. So that bumps us up to 49k in overall manpower. It's regenerating pretty nicely too. 440 per tick. Okay, now back to getting claims going again here. Let's get a spy network going on Old Oldenburg. Denmark is humongous. And then I'm going to also want to be able to get one here on East Frisia. Although I think they may be part of a trade league. That's all military access stuff there. Hmm. But let's also see aggressive expansions at 21 for them. 32 there. So we might have to chill for a little bit. Oh good, colony done. Chesapeake is pretty fruitful, so let's send the colonists there next. We're going to send our army in. Roanoke, what's producing there? Hmm. Fish. North Carolina, create a new state. Core. There we go. Okay, that's not very fruitful there. Everything in Europe is covered. So Roanoke, really, the only choice for a church production, though. Okay, we've already got one in the province where we were producing uh, paper. Breda. That might be pretty nice to get. Let's put you in. Just improving that income wherever we can now. Okay, Spy Network sitting right at the 10 mark. Going back to speed 4. Let's see how it runs. Yeah, I'm getting decent frame rate there. Wow, 13 per tick here. Especially in the trade area. Production's pretty big as well. And I can actually add to my home stack here again. So let's do that. 31k in the stack. In mainland Europe here. Alright, Friesian separatists in Friesland, the main portion of it. So let's head on up here. Hope this does not produce some attrition. Okay. Let's do that. Expanding things in Chesapeake for us a bit there. Yeah, so we're already up to 266 settlers. Uh, suppress the rebels. Wow, that's a lot of unrest. I'll let them take the autonomy here for now. 2.4 years, we're going to have 15,000 rebels pop up there against us. Still no conversions ready yet. Okay, let's continue saving up for additional regimental camps as well. I think I want to get that force limit going a little bit further. Alright, let's swing back over here as well. Fabricate a claim on Onsebrook. Very good. And then I want to also fabricate probably for over here, Paderborn. Okay, we won there against the natives. Okay. Oh god, current air dies. God dang it. How old is my current ruler? 60. Uh, we're going to need the weak claim to come through. That stinks. Local unrest minus three. New consort there. 
Burgers gains 15 loyalty. Let's do that. And we'll just let them get over it until it increases. The clergy, that is. Now, for some reason, my trade has gone back down. Oh, nice tobacco in Chesapeake there. We're going to need that. Trade power in the channel, sitting right at 18%. 6% and then 8% here. Okay. And then how about over here? Chesapeake is a trade, est or an estuary rather. So that's going to give us a lot of trade power there for the trade node. Because we're already sitting at 11%. The, the Brits sort of sitting at a larger amount there. You can see some territory over here. Not sure who that's for. Income back down, though. Global Terrace, 20%. We're going to take that. That money. Give me that money, money, money. Oh, look at the rebellion here in Holland. 24 stack. Real marriage ends with Hess there. Sitting right at my max. Uh, let's yeah, let's put in for another regimental camp there. France, what are you doing? We probably need to renew the royal marriage here. No diplomats, okay. So yeah, let's get our... Oh, that's part of Brandenburg. Let's take this one. Uh, can I get another claim on Oldenburg? Okay, we won that. Let's put it for actual Oldenburg itself. There we go. Okay, now we gotta update our provinces of interest here. Onsbrook and Oldenburg. Okay. Or in fact, boom, boom. There we go. It's red. There we go. All right, let's take the uh, diplo uh, diplomat away, like this. Cool. Now, if we take a look, we need to get our royal marriage back here. Okay, we're waiting on the Diplo guy to get back. Here he is. Lock that in. Great. Declare with you. Nuremberg, Bavaria, Denmark. Very not humongous, but Denmark is scary for sure. France would join me eventually if we wanted to go at, go down that path. We'll just have to sort of wait and see. Cool. Well, anyway, guys, just wanted to say thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed my content. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time.